Hello everybody. Good day to all of you. Today we are going to see how to make up a given solution. So um, most of the undergraduates when you come to the chemistry laboratory you will be having a task as to how to make up a given solution. So when I say a given solution it means a solution whose concentration is not known to you. Okay so we can say it as a uh, solution of unknown strength uh, so normally we give solutions like this the small bottle no? like this solutions will be given to you so you need to make up this solution so let us see how to make up the given solution now what are the apparatus that are required for making up this given solution first you need a standard measuring flask of 100 ml capacity because we are going to make up the solution to 100 ml so standard measuring flask 100 ml capacity then, then we need a funnel a small funnel then we need a glass rod now you should know the difference between a glass tube and a glass rod this this is a glass tube this is a glass rod see a glass rod is closed at both the ends glass tube is open at the both the ends so we need a glass rod then we need a pipette for transferring liquid we need a pipette then you need a, a porcelain tile so that we can keep the standard measuring flask on the porcelain tile next we need to have a wash bottle with distilled water so this is the wash bottle so before you start the experiment first you'll have to take a thread and tie this lid of the SMF in this way so now you all can see that the lid is tied to the SMF to a thread and so uh, first we'll have to check with little amounts of water uh, to see if there is any leakage now let us see how to make up the given solution so now this is the uh, solution whose concentration is not known let us assume that your teacher has given you this solution and asked you to make up this solution so now i have taken a standard measuring flask of 100 ml capacity i've kept it on a porcelain tile it is not essential that you have to keep on a porcelain tile but if you keep on the tile in case you spill or you lose out one drop you will know that you have to repeat the experiment because even that one drop of the unknown solution uh, will give you more than 10 percent of error so you should not miss out even the smallest drop so now you can see that i have tied a thread to this lid so that the lid and the standard measuring flask will not be exchanged you should not exchange this lid with that of the standard measuring flask of your friends so let us test if there is any leakage for which i am taking a wash bottle with water i am taking little water let us close the lid and turn it upside down see now there is no leakage so once there is no leakage you can use this standard measuring flask so now we have to take a glass rod so as i told you this is a glass rod and this is a glass tube you see the glass tube is open at both ends whereas the glass rod is closed now when it comes to a glass rod there are two ends one is a flat end the other one is a little thin end so it is always advisable to use this portion of the uh, glass rod now the reason why i am asking you all to use this not to use this end is that most of the number bottles they have a very narrow mouth that this end will not go inside so that is why i insist that we have to use only the thin end of the glass rod so now let us go into the making up of the solution so as i already told you will have to take a porcelain tie keep your standard measuring flask let us use the acronym smf so this smf is of 100 ml capacity before you use an smf uh, you have to be very familiar with the meniscus of the smf so meniscus is the correct level 
So now this is the meniscus. I think you all can see a line here. So the meniscus indicates that a solution up to this volume is 100 ml. So I think uh, I will now let you know what, what this meniscus is. So now let us see what this meniscus is. Meniscus is of two types. One is called as the upper meniscus. Let us see the difference between the two. So in a standard measuring flask or in a pipette, you have these measurements. Even in burette, you can see a line. So the line indicates the meniscus line. So what is upper and what is lower? Uh, if you have a colored solution, dark colored solution like potassium permanganate, where you cannot see the curve of the liquid, then you have to take the upper meniscus. But for colorless solutions or very light colored solutions, you can see a curvature of the solution. So this curvature, it should sit on the top of this line that is called as lower meniscus. So in a standard measuring flask, you have to take the lower meniscus. So this is called as lower meniscus. This is called as upper meniscus. So for potassium permanganate, we cannot see the lower meniscus. Therefore, you have to take the upper meniscus. But for colorless solutions or very light pale colored solutions like dilute copper sulfate, uh, dilute potassium dichromate, we can very well see the lower meniscus. Therefore, this curve of the line should go and rest on the uh, mark, which is on the SMF. Now to make up the given solution, see this is the given solution which your teacher has given you and uh, you are required to make up this given solution to 100 ml. So what we have to do is, first we'll, uh, we are going to transfer this solution, roughly this is around 20 ml, we are going to make this up to 100 ml. Therefore we have to use a funnel for transferring, without a funnel you will spill the solution, therefore you have to keep the funnel on the top of the SMF. Then, when the teacher pipettes out the solution, it is likely that some solution might have uh, been sticking to the mouth of the number bottle and we are closing it with a lid. Therefore, the first step is that you have to wash this lid. So what you will have to do is, you have to take the lid in the left hand and I am using a pipette, even though I have a wash bottle, I am using a pipette to take the solution because, because I want only less solution. In case I use this wash bottle and if I press and if I get more liquid, then it will easily fill out. Therefore, I am taking only less solution. See, I am washing the lid with little solution. Now I have washed the lid, after washing the lid, the last drop of the lid touch on the sides of the funnel and keep it aside. Now take the number bottle in your left hand and the glass rod in your right hand. Keep the glass rod in a slanting position at an acute angle. This is horizontal position, this is vertical position and this is acute angle position. So I am keeping this in a slanting angle and transfer the solution by touching the mouth of the number bottle on the glass rod and transfer the solution slowly. So you can see now the solution is being transferred. As the solution is about to finish, keep the glass rod on a horizontal position and transfer the entire solution using this glass rod. The last drop of the number bottle touch on the glass rod and immediately put the glass rod inside the number bottle. Now we have transferred the solution but you can see no, still the number bottle is yellow in color which means that still there is some solution which is inside. Now I have to use little less quantities of water that is uh, minimum water but maximum washings. I can wash it, the wash the bottle three to four times. So use minimum water 
but maximum washings now i have used very less water and swirl the bottle so this is called as swirling even when i swirl i am not taking this glass rod outside so you have to just swirl the bottle and now see since the solution is very less i have to keep the glass rod in a horizontal position and transfer the contents of the bottle via the glass rod inside onto the funnel now the last drop you can touch on the glass rod if you have last drop sticking you can touch on the sides of the funnel again i have to put the glass rod inside the bottle now second time i'm washing this bottle with less amounts of solution see second time now the solution is almost colorless only because most of the solution i have now transferred so again i'm swirling and i'm transferring the solution if the number bottle has more solution keep the glass rod in a slanting position if it is less you keep it in a horizontal position and transfer the solution entirely now the third time i have to do this washing so when i pour the solution water from the wash bottle we can pour it along onto the glass rod so that any solution sticking onto the glass rod is also transferred to the number bottle now once again i am swirling the number bottle well and i am transferring this water now the last drop of the number bottle i have to touch on the glass rod so like this we can wash maximum times 3 to 4 times or 5 times but use less water then keep the number bottle aside so you see that now we have washed the lid first now we have washed the number bottle after washing the number bottle i have remo not removed my glass rod my glass rod is still on the i have kept it on the top of the funnel because even that small drop i don't want to spill out now using your left hand hold the the glass rod in your left hand and the wash bottle in your right hand and wash the glass rod see i am swirling the glass rod so that all the sides are washed now i have also washed the glass rod the last drop of glass rod i have to touch on the sides of the funnel now keep the glass rod aside now we have to wash this funnel therefore using very less water you have to wash the funnel and while washing turn the funnel so that we ensure that we have washed all the solution and we have pushed all the solution to the smf once washing the funnel now this is called as this portion is called as a stem of the funnel we can see that there's one drop in the stem of funnel so we have to now wash remove that one drop also so to remove that one drop touch the stem of the funnel on to the side of the smf till that one drop falls into the smf now we have washed the rinsed the funnel also so keep the funnel aside now after transferring the liquid you all can see that after three washings and after washing the glass rod and the funnel i have only nearly half of the um, bulb of the smf you should not fill it up to the bulb full up to the snick then it will be difficult for us to shake therefore you have to use less water minimum water and transfer the solution and wash all the concerned apparatus so now you have to slightly swirl the solution given solution so after swirling we are going to make up the solution up to this mark as i already mentioned now this is a pale colored solution where the lower meniscus is visible therefore we have to take the lower meniscus see now i am going to add water up to the bulb only so this is called as the bulb so here you can see the mark so for a precautionary measure i am not going to add excess liquid we will fill up to the bulb with water then using a pipette drop wise we will add and fill up to the meniscus
see now using the wash bottle i have transferred the water up to this bulb now i need to make up to the meniscus so for making up to the meniscus i am not going to use the wash bottle but we are going to use a pipette so for this you have to take a water this is distilled water and take a pipette and see i am not sucking out i am just holding my four finger and if i press the mouth of the pipette you can see some solution some water inside the pipette this water is enough we have we can transfer this water and when you transfer this water you should not hold the bulb pipette in this way but it is better that you have to hold it along the bulb so this is a correct position for you to hold the pipette while transferring the last drop if you hold the pipette here then water will spout out like a fountain but if you hold here along the bulb you will get in drops okay so just to show how you can get in drops i am just transferring see now water falls as drops but if you are going to take the solution and transfer like this you will not have a control therefore you have to ha uh, have water in the pipette like this hold the bulb of the pipette take the smf in your left hand hold the bulb this is the bulb the bulb of the smf in your left hand keep it to your eye level so you have to raise the standard flask and keep the meniscus to your eye level and transfer drop by drop the water till it reaches the meniscus mark now you all can see that yellow color lower meniscus now i'm going to add drop by drop till the lower meniscus rests on the line so just drop by drop very carefully we have to add now drop by drop we have to add now see the lower meniscus is sitting on the line so now we have correctly filled it drop by drop using a pipette now after adding the last drop you have to close the mouth of the smf with the lid okay hold the bulb of the smf in your left hand see cover the bulb like this hold tightly and using your right hand palm you have to close this lid and turn it upside down now shake the bottle thrice this is one time second time and third time so three times you shake and you can see some bubbles air bubbles there so to release the air, air bubbles are there so to remove the air bubbles you have to slightly release this lid and then close it in case after removing the lid if the solution goes down the mark we need not worry but after adding uh, after making up the solution you should not add a drop remember that that's all the making up uh, process is over now we have successfully made up this solution so this solution is now up to 100 ml and this is called as the made up solution thanks for watching this video